Hello everyone, this is Eda Golami from AgriMedSoft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to talk about normal distribution in SPSS. So um, we know that data could be distributed in many forms. It could be spread out more on the left side uh, numbers or to the right side numbers or it could be um, like sparse and not focused on specific numbers okay so it could be ju just um, it could have ups and downs without um, any specific pattern okay so uh, but one of the ways which data could be distributed is normal distribution so in many cases data could be distributed more around the mean um, or average value video tends to the right or to the left so now in here i have a data set for height of the people of one data set containing 29 data and i want to test if this data set is normally distributed or not so what i will do is that i go to analyze and in descriptive statistics i go to explore and then in here, you can see the box in the left side contains all your variables in here. I have just one variable and I get that to dependent list. Then I go to statistics and I just want uh, descriptives. So I just check the descriptives and also in plots. So in plots, you should uh, take care that none of these descriptives um, be checked and normality plots with test should be checked and in box plots choose none okay click on continue and click on ok and then you can see this output window opens and you could see the um, all the tables in here so at first you can see summary of the cases that SPSS is processing so your variable name is height the number of your data is 29 and 100% of them are valid. And then you could see that there is no missing data and so total of your data is um, 29. Okay, then in descriptive uh, table, you can see the name of your variable, so it's height, average of the values is 176 so in here if we get to conclusion that this data is normally distributed we can say in other ways that most of your data in this data set is focused around this number okay the average is 176 and then we can we can um, conclude that most of your data is around 176 then you can see the median variance the standard deviation minimum number of your data set maximum number range and etc then you can see the tests of normality table um, as i mentioned before in my previous video on normal distribution the Kolomogorov Smirnov um, test is used for data sets more than 200 um, data points. And for less than those numbers, you could go for Shapiro Velk um, test. So, in here, as I have only 29 data, I go for Shapiro Velk. Um, you can see the p value in here is 0 0.004 which is so much less than 5%, which is the significance level, okay? So, uh, so in here, uh, if you compare it to the, to the 5%, which is your um, alpha or which is your, signif uh, which is your significance level, you could see that it, this is too much lower than uh, 5%. And it means that your null hypothesis should be rejected. So in, in this um, normality test, we say that our null hypothesis is that our data is normally distributed. And the alternative hypothesis is that these are not um, normally distributed. Okay, so when this is so much lower than 5%, you can say that you, can, you have enough evidence 
to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, so in here, we can conclude that our data is, is not normally distributed. And so that was just for this video um, purpose, this data and all these things. So that um, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next videos and bye.